Hello everyone, I am just about to head out to the mall because I'm gonna go do a little bit of shopping at Nordstrom and their Nordstrom sale. Wow, my hair is very voluminous today. I just filmed a um, real a hair tutorial, which is something that I have put on the back burner for months and months and months because it was probably one of my most requested videos and I just never did it because as you guys know, like I always wash my hair at night. I am very consistent with my hair routine. So filming a reel would have meant that I had to wash my hair like midday, which is what I did today. I literally washed my hair at like 11, which was the strangest time to wash your hair. But anyways, that's what I did. Um, but I'm just about to head out. So I figured I'd show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this gorgeous nasty gal dress again. I just, honestly, my period is coming and i am feeling so beyond bloated even my face feels extra bloated so i just wanted the loosest possible dress in my wardrobe and that is what i'm wearing today i'm just gonna wear it with sneakers and my pauline little black crossbody um that's what i felt like wearing today i couldn't be bothered to wear anything remotely tight to my body because i just can't Nordstrom is one of the few kind of higher end retails that we have here in Toronto so it's nice to be able to kind of shop those higher end brands um, and be able to try them on. It's just really really nice that if you are going to be spending a little bit more on your items that you get to try them on and ensure that they fit perfectly. So anyways let's go. It's already almost three o'clock and I have to take the train as I will be visiting my family this weekend. So yeah that's the plan. Let's go do some shopping. Very, very cute. All right, so I just got home not too long ago from the mall, and of course, I changed into something comfy. So I'm just wearing this Aritzia white bodysuit, and then my absolute favorite Aritzia cardigan. I have it in the black as well, and I swear I never take these sweaters off. My mom still makes fun of me for always wearing these sweaters, but tell you they're just so comfy <laughs> but anyways I wanted to sit down and show you everything that I got from Nordstrom um, but before I do I do want to say that Nordstrom is actually sponsoring this video so thank you Nordstrom but I did want to show you the pieces that I got because I'm really excited about them I think they are really really nice pieces that will transition beautifully into the fall I'm already thinking about the fall because September is around the corner my birthday month so excited as soon as we head into august september my brain starts to shift into fall mode and um, i already start to think about it so yeah anyways let me show you these pieces because i absolutely love them nordstrom is having their anniversary sale and this ends i believe on the 9th so if you are looking to buy any of these pieces i would get on it asap because the sale does end i believe it's on sunday um so yeah, I personally have a Nordstrom super, super close to me, so I just walked in and shopped around. But if you are looking to shop and you don't live near Nordstrom, then definitely go to nordstrom.ca or .com, wherever you live. So for their sale, obviously all their men's and women's stuff is on sale, and then as well, um, some beauty items. So when it comes to like beauty and fragrances, they have really, really nice sets that they put on sale, which is wonderful. So I did my fair share of damage at Nordstrom today and the first thing that I picked up is this um, wood sage and sea salt body and hand wash from Jo Malone so from what the lady was telling me this is actually their biggest size that you can get in the um, body and hand wash and this is regularly $92 and I got it for $73 so I've been looking for a really nice body wash because it is recommended that you actually use body wash before you self tan, not um, 
bars of soap. So I've been looking for a really nice body gel to use on those days that I am self tanning. And so this is the one I picked up. The scent that they had available was wood sage and sea salt, which is such a nice and clean scent. This is the type of scent that I would want on my body and then to top it off with my fragrances. So, so, so nice. So this was the first thing that I got at the sale and I just love a good Jo Malone product. Jo Malone just makes me very happy. <laughs> When it comes to sales, and this is a question I get all the time, but when it comes to sales, there are certain items that I love to get on sale, and one of those things are knitwear. Knitwear and sweaters specifically, I find tend to be really, really expensive. And so when there are sales going on in stores, the first thing that I look for is knitwear and sweaters. Knitwear can be so expensive. <laughs> so a lot of the pieces that I picked up today are actually knitwear because I love getting those pieces on sale. So the first item that I got is this beautiful frame cashmere sweater. Um, so again, it's cashmere, so it's so beyond soft, but it is a v-neck. It's got this beautiful, almost like ruched detailing down the front. And my favorite part is the sleeves. They have a little bit of a balloon sleeve with the tight, um, with the tighter kind of um, part at the wrist. Um, but this is essentially my favorite type of sleeve because it's loose enough that it feels like it's comfy, but it's also not too big to the point where it's uncomfortable to wear under blazers and jackets. And then of course, the fact that this is tight around the wrist means I can pull it up just enough where I can show off my bracelets and watches. So this type of sleeve you will see me wearing quite a bit in the fall winter because it is a type of sleeve that I really really like. So anyways this was on sale and it was such a steal. It was such an amazing price. So anyways this is the first piece that I got and I just absolutely love it. I can't tell you how soft it is. Oh, I love it. All right and this is the beautiful cashmere top. I love cashmere. And as I mentioned, my brain is already on fall and winter mode. And I always, and I've learned this from experience, shopping for knitwear around this time of year when it goes on sale or as soon as winter ends is the perfect time to buy knitwear. Because admittedly, knitwear can be expensive, um, especially pieces like cashmere. So being able to find this um, cashmere frame sweater is beautiful. So I've just paired it with these um, vegan leather shorts and then some sandals since we're still in summer. Um, but the way I envisioned this top is again in the fall with some um, tights and boots and even just sneakers when it starts to get a little bit chilly out. But even now that summer is sort of coming to a close, I can already start to feel that the nights are getting chillier. And so this is the type of outfit that I would absolutely wear if I'm going out for dinner on a Friday night where I know it's gonna get chilly later on. The second thing that I got, and I'm really excited about this because I am not one to have a lot of loungewear sets. It's funny, like during the pandemic, I got so many requests um, from both Instagram and YouTube to show different loungewear outfits and I just don't own very many. So when I saw this set, I fell in love. So this is a Veronica Beard loungewear set. And the first item is this beautiful kind of crew neck um, sweater. And again, it's got that exact same sleeve as the black um, cashmere sweater. But as much as it's a crew neck, it's got this beautiful detailing on the shoulders. And this color is just absolutely beautiful. So this is the top of the set. And then the bottoms are a cropped flare style. So again, same color. It's got this beautiful thick waistband. Um, I do have to say that this thick waistband feels phenomenal on your waist. Um, it really just feels like it's cinching everything in. Um, and the length of these on me are absolutely perfect. I'm always a little bit hesitant with cropped styles because, because I am 5'3 cropped on me usually means like normal length. Um, but these are a wonderful, wonderful length. And what I love about these two pieces is that, again, you can wear them as a set, which looks gorgeous, but you can also wear them individually. So I envision this sweater as it starts to get chillier out with some beautiful white trousers to go out for dinner on a Friday night or for drinks. When it is just that kind of chilly weather in the evening, that looks beautiful. And then this, actually I do envision this with either a white t-shirt or a white bodysuit tank top. And then you can either do white sneakers or white sandals if it is still summer. And then of course, 
if you're wearing it around the house, you don't need shoes. All right, and then here is the matching set. I am just absolutely in love with this set, and the price of this sweater was just an absolute steal, but essentially I just tucked the sweater halfway around, that way the back is nice and loose, but it's just the most beautiful crew neck, as much as it's a super simple crew neck style, it's got this beautiful detailing on the shoulders, and that's the type of thing I look for. You know, I love a crew neck, and I love those simple pieces, but sometimes when they have those little tiny details, it just makes them so much more special, and I just, just love this. I also love that this color is very neutral, and it's a warm color, so it's going to transition into the fall and winter really, really nice as well. So oh, I'm just obsessed with this track suit. I just... I love it. I think it's so, so pretty. <laughs> so anyways, that is what I got at the Nordstrom sale. I really, really fell in love with these pieces and I just wanted to find pieces that I knew I was gonna get tons and tons of wear out of. And again, my brain is already shifting into fall winter mode, so I knew that these pieces were gonna get loads of wear. So I will link all of these pieces down below for you, as well as some other finds from Nordstrom that I think are absolute must-haves. As well, everything will be on my like to know it if you do use like to know it. I do have an account there, just Samantha Guerrero. But anyways, I am going to go pack because I do have to catch a train in a little while to go see my family. And tomorrow, I am going to take you with me to get my hair done. I um, essentially, I'm actually gonna relocate for a second here so I'm not sitting on my knees. So essentially, tomorrow I'm going to see Chelsea to get my hair done. And as much as I love the blonde, again, we are heading into fall and winter and it's time to say goodbye to the bright blonde. So. And typically for me, I like to go a little bit brighter in the summer because I usually have a bit more of a tan and it just looks really nice. But then as soon as fall winter hits, I love to go just a little bit darker. So again, I still like those very subtle highlights because it looks really, really pretty. When you curl your hair, you can actually see the definition of each curl. So that's why a lot of people ask me if I will ever go back to my natural hair color and just probably not because I love that you get all this beautiful definition with the balayage in there and so and so tomorrow I'm just gonna tone my hair I'm not gonna redo that I'm not gonna bleach it this time around we're just gonna tone it we're just gonna make everything a little bit darker all around and again toning your hair is super super important if you are bleaching your hair um, so yeah I personally can go like over six months without um, redoing my balayage but um, Chelsea has been telling me that it's very important for me to go in and get it retoned a little bit more often than what I'm doing now so that's what I'm doing tomorrow I'm also getting a bit of a cut because it's just getting a little too long for my liking so I'm probably gonna go somewhere in and around this length but knowing Chelsea she'll probably cut off more <laughs> but anyways but my hair grows super super fast so I am not concerned. I'm also just meeting some friends for coffee in the morning which is going to be so so lovely. That's the plan but right now I'm just going to go um, pack and tidy my apartment a little bit because I honestly left here in a rush and um, everything's kind of everywhere. <laughs> so anyways I will catch up with you probably when I'm heading out to catch the train. All right so I'm just about to head out and call my Uber. Um, but I just wanted to show you what I'm wearing on the train home. These are the types of outfits I like to wear when I'm commuting because I just find that having some sort of cozy something on feels really nice when you're on the train. And I personally always get really cold when I'm on the train, but I still like to look good, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so let me show you. All right, so this is the outfit. Super, super simple, but again, it's comfy and warm enough because of the sweater so these are I want to say these are the effortless shorts from Aritzia they're the longer length I believe I own the shorter length in black but for some reason the longer length just looks super super classy and then of course this is the new sweater which I absolutely love I just have to roll up the sleeve a little bit more so you can see my watch and then of course my Axel Arregato sneakers because what else <laughs> I also wanted to show you guys this new belt so this is actually a little belt from Aldo I have always bought my belts at Aldo especially these thin little ones so if you're on the hunt for a little waist belt definitely definitely check out Aldo if not Aldo accessories should also have them they're always super inexpensive and they always have um, different colors I know I have one of mine which is just black this one is white and then I have another one which is black on one side and then it's got like 
a kind of like a snake skin print on the other side so if you're ever looking for these tiny little belts definitely check out Alder. they're gonna be like no more than 15 bucks and they're almost always on sale for like 10 which is amazing so this one's one of my recent ones and I just love this little gold detailing on it because I find that it matches all my jewelry so yeah I just wanted to show you guys that because I think it's a really really good um, find but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna call my lift and um, get going. Okay, before I go, I have a new discovery for you. So recently I was sent this um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow in Color of Dreams. So this is it right here. And um, as it's a blush, so it's a cream blush, um, but it can also be used as eyeshadow, but I've been using it as a lip balm, lipstick, and I cannot tell you how much I love it. Like I don't even, use it as a blush. I've used it as a blush a few times and it looks gorgeous, but I've been using it on my lips pretty much every single day. And I literally, it's the perfect size. It's, it even has a mirror. And I literally just stick this in my purse and it is the most beautiful color. I've even been complimented on it. And it just, it even looks glowy on the lips. So it's a weird discovery, okay? But trust me, trust me. Like three in one, like cheek, lips and eyes come on it's pretty good <laughs> anyways um it seems like my lift is going to be here any minute so i better get downstairs put this away and get going good morning everyone i am at my parents house now and i'm just about to head out my friends are picking me up and we're gonna go grab a coffee but i'm feeling so bronzed today i self-tanned last night and i can't tell you how good i feel i'm also wearing my new frame cashmere sweater I know it's probably a little too hot to wear this, but honestly, I love it. And on my Instagram, when I do a lot of like my get ready with me reels, people are like, do you really wear that in the summer? Like it's super hot. Like I can't stand wearing pants. I'm a little crazy in that aspect. I will wear an outfit because I feel good in it, regardless of how hot I will be. Like remember, I remember last summer, it must have been like 32 degrees and I wore my black suit. So like my black blazer and my black trousers and just like a little bra top. Yes, I was sweaty. Yes, I was melting, but I looked and felt amazing. So that's kind of my thing with like fashion is like, you know what? Beauty hurts or beauty can get hot. <laughs> so yes, I'm wearing a cashmere sweater and it's probably gonna be way too hot, but honestly, it feels so good on and I feel really good. So I am wearing shorts though, so I should be balanced out on the bottom end, but that's fine. So anyways, yeah, we're gonna get coffee and then we're gonna get some lunch or brunch, I guess you could say. And then I'm gonna head over to get my hair done with Chels. So I'm really excited. But anyways, let's get going.
everyone. I am looking very sweaty. My hair is all done. I will try to show it to you properly when I get back home. But essentially, we are in Brantford right now and we got Stan's fries. I know it's hard to tell. They're in a bag. But these are probably some of the best fries I've ever had. They have been around since let me just check, 1950. And it's just a little food truck in the middle of a parking lot. And the fries have... Um, salt and vinegar on them and it's literally the best thing ever so i'm here with my parents and we're just all having our small stand fries so if you live in the surrounding area definitely go look up stands good morning everyone i just last night i ended up meeting up with some friends and we had a fire and we just swam in the pool for the night and it was just really really nice to just have a very chilled out and um, fun evenings. I got up this morning, did my makeup, and I've been loving my makeup. So I think in next vlog, I will have to start the vlog by doing my makeup with you because I've pretty much narrowed down all of the products that I've been trying out and I've just found my kind of staples for the moment. So if you haven't seen my um, full face of new makeup, I will link it up here because a lot of the products in that video are actually the ones that I've been using consistently for the past few weeks now um, but anyways I wanted to chat about my new hair because I am just in love so um, I did lose a few of the curls I find that when um, there's a lot of product in my hair like hairspray and heat protectant and um, leave-in conditioner for some reason my hair doesn't hold curls whatsoever sorry if you heard that shaking that's um my family dog roxy but um essentially yeah for some reason i lost all my curls overnight um so it's looking pretty straight but it's still looking very very beautiful so essentially what i had done yesterday was just a toner so we did not have to re-bleach and we did not have to redo any of the balayage because it was still looking very very good so we just toned it and i told her i just wanted it to be a lot darker and i wanted all the warmth completely out of my hair so we went with kind of ashy beige tones so again it's quite dark um but i'm really really loving it and just i really really love how natural it looks i think it's just perfect for the fall and winter so yeah i'm really really liking my hair right now i will definitely have to wash it and restyle it um, in the way that I typically do but for right now this looks <laughs> very very pretty and I'm very happy with um, the way it turned out Chelsea did a wonderful job as usual it was so nice for her and I to catch up because I hadn't seen her in quite some time obviously we went into lockdown and I know that that hit hairstylists and estheticians so 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 hard and so I just I send all my love and strength to her because I know how hard it was to go through that. She is beyond happy to be back at the salon doing what she loves. Um, so I'm really, really happy for her. Again, I go to a diamond cut in Cambridge and um, it is Chelsea who always does my hair. So if you're looking for a new hairstylist, even if you're like from Toronto or something, I couldn't recommend Chelsea enough. I get questions about my hair on the daily and I think the biggest thing about my hair is that it's balayage. And um, a lot of people mistake balayage and they kind of think that it's the same as highlights and lowlights. Um, and it's not. You know, you actually have to be trained to do balayage and it's a totally different technique. And obviously there's different techniques within the balayage realm. Um, but balayage is meant to look very, very natural and it's supposed to grow out very, very natural as well. Which is why I can go so many months without actually touching my balayage and I just kind of have to retone it is because it just grows out so naturally and so when you are looking for a new hairdresser you know make sure you're asking the right questions don't be afraid to ask hey like are you trained in balayage um do you feel comfortable doing balayage just do your research because I think in the end it's it'll be better for you and your hair um another thing too is I get so many dms you know with women saying oh like I went to the salon and my hair just doesn't look as bright as yours or just um you know I have very dark base like you and in my first appointment it still doesn't look blonde um and my tip to you in that sense is take your time if you're if you have a dark base like I do like if you're a brunette and you want to go blonde take your time with it um it'll that'll just ensure that you're not wrecking your hair you want your hair to you know stay healthy while you're getting to that blonde point um, i know for myself it took me three six hour appointments to get to the blonde that i was to previously because the first time we ever did my balayage it was 
pretty much unnoticeable but it was a way for my hair to be exposed to bleach for the first time and then I gave my hair time to heal itself and get strong again and healthy before I even added more bleach so essentially my hairstylist told me if you ever you know go to a hairstylist that can take you from this dark to super super blonde in one sitting um, just run because um that could just really really damage your hair and you would never want that you want your hair to stay as healthy as possible and so um so again just be patient you know um patience is key with balayage um that way you can get to your desired color but still have your hair healthy and shiny and beautiful but anyways that's enough about hair um today is going to be a very chill day i'm just going to do some work this morning and then hopefully I get to spend some time with my family before I head back home. Um, and I don't know if I'm meeting up with any more friends. Most of my friends live here because this is where I went to high school. So most of my friends still reside here where my parents live. And then I'm just located in Toronto now. But yeah, that's kind of the plan for today. And yeah, it'll be very, very low key. But for right now, I'm going to do some editing and some emails and just catch up on work. But um, yeah, I will catch up with you guys later. Hello everyone, I am just sitting out on the deck with my family and just enjoying the beautiful day that is today. So I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. I just want to spend some time with family and just enjoy the beautiful weather and um, yeah. But anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!